Good evening, and welcome to my laboratory. Uh, what I want to show here is the use of the simple Joule Thief as a handy-dandy transistor checker for NPN-type transistors. Um, okay, so what I have here is my Joule Thief test bed. This is a standard wired Joule Thief. There's nothing special about it. The only difference is that I've replaced the normal base resistor with a 1N914 uh, uh, um, diode in there. Um, and that's all. Everything else is standard. This is a, a one-to-one -one, uh, transformer for it that I've removed from an old television set. They come in different sizes. Here's one from a bigger television set. Uh, that's their one-to-one -one windings on a uh, rectangular core of good ferrite. And uh, they measure about 21 millihenries each, each side. So there's actually a pretty hefty inductance in that little, that little package there. Uh, okay, so anyway, they're wired as a jewel thief. There's the connection block for the transformer. Over here is the connection block for the transistor, and there's the blue LED. I've got a switch here. The switch is wired to turn on the battery to the jewel thief, or also to just make a direct connection from the battery itself to the LED. So that's a way of confirming that the LED doesn't, doesn't light on the battery voltage alone. And then here's my connection block for the transistors, EBC, emitter base collector. Uh, and here I've put a little adapter in there for the TO3 style case. This is a, a TO3 socket. So because we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna test TO3 transistors, TO220 transistors, and then these little cans too. The only requirement is that, that it's uh, NPN, apparently. Um, okay. And here I have a, a one ohm current viewing resistor on the negative rail and I'm looking at the voltage across that resistor with the voltage setting, the 200 milli or 2000 millivolt setting of the El Cheapo uh, DMM there. Uh, and by Ohm's law, uh, what we see here in, in millivolts will be of course the milliamps of current going through that 1 ohm resistor, right? Okay, this is a cheap and convenient way of measuring current down to the milliamp using your DMM on the voltage setting where it has very high impedance. If you simply ran the, the DMM on the amperage setting through and, and let the current go through the DMM, uh, I found actually that this thing has a, a resistance of about 1.8 ohms and it goes up in the, in the smaller ohmage ranges or smaller amp ranges. So I think measuring the voltage drop across a single um, known resistance value that's not going to change is probably uh, just as easy if not as um, as sensitive or precise. All right, so anyhow, let's uh, let's go ahead. First, let's just check and see what the voltage is on the battery. I'll move the clip over to um, to this side over here. And uh, okay, so we have a little bit over 1.2 volts or uh, 1,216 millivolts, 1.216 volts on the battery. All right, no load. And now we'll go back to the current monitoring position here like this, okay? Now, as I said, this switch is wired to switch the battery to the LED directly uh, in uh, this position. The LED doesn't light. And in this position, of course, the LED doesn't light because we don't got a transistor in there. All right, so here I have a couple of um, 2N3055s. This one has a question mark on it. And, and, and this one says no HV on it. This one I actually pulled from uh, it says Q, Q414. So this one must have been in one of the oscilloscopes that I've repaired at, at one point or another. And it says no HV on it. Uh, at any rate, I've actually, actually used this in some other projects and it does seem to work. This one's got a question mark on it so I must consider have considered it to be questionable at some point. So let's uh, let's put this in the socket and I just use this alligator clip to make the uh, the collector connection to the socket. And now um, uh, there we go there. Okay. So uh, battery alone won't light the LED Jewel Thief circuit with that transistor in there gives you a good, brilliant thing. Now, what, I, what I've found is you want to look at the brilliance of the light and this current over here, okay? 
So that one gives me kind of a halfway brilliant blue light and uh, 121 milliamps of current. All right, so let's go to a different transistor. I'll put that one aside so I don't test it again. There we got 113 milliamps, and I think that light is brighter. To me, it's subjectively brighter than the other one was. Okay. All right. And here's one. Here's another one out of my pile. I think these are good. That's nice and bright, and 113, 112 milliamps over there. Those are all used. I do have a brand new one here. I haven't even taken it out of the packaging yet. Let's see what this one says. It's a brand new 2N3055. Certainly goes in the socket easier without solder on the pins. Okay, that's nice and bright, about the same as the others. 114 milliamps. Okay, so I guess that means that some of these are over here. I have are good. Uh, let me put this one back over here so I don't get it mixed up. Okay, so that's testing T03, uh, 2N3055 transistors. But what about the other case styles? Well. I'll pull, I'll pull out the 3055 socket. Those are just being stored there. Okay, so now we have emitter base collector. Uh, but what do you do when you have a TO220 case that is a base collector emitter, right? Well, you have base collector, so you just stick those in the base and collector sides like that. And then you run a, a jumper over to the emitter um, that side. And of course, the emitter is the ground, right? Okay, so there you go. And uh, look at the look at the look at the current over here. Three milliamps. Can that be right? I must be bypassing the the uh, call it the emitter that way. Yeah, uh huh. I was. I was bypassing the the <laughs> the circuit, most of the circuit. So we get about uh, when I make the connection nice and solid, we get about 100 milliamps and a nice bright blue LED. And that transistor. I don't even remember looking at it to see what it was. That is a TIP31 transistor. And uh, let's see, here I have a MJE3055. Same thing here, so we have base collector, the 1 and 2, and then emitter is pin 3. changed my battery style clips lately to a better one. So, collector, emitter, and there you go. Nice bright, bright blue light and uh, 90 milliamps of current. That's the MJE3055. Okay, so the 220 case, all you have to do is move it down one and then make the jumper over from the emitter, and Bob's your uncle. Okay, so what about little bitty transistors? Like here's a uh, 2N3053, and they go 
like on the bottom here, they go collector base emitter. The emitter is not noted by that little notchy thing there. So collector collector base emitter, you might have to form the pins a little bit to get them in the right order. Collector base emitter. on that one are really short but when I get it in there I think you can see the light lights and I have some current over here okay and uh, these little these guys this is an MPS A18 uh, A and it's uh, emitter base collector and these little packages which makes it easy for me there's your nice blue light. You can see uh, quite a bit less current going through there on that one. Uh, 2N2369, and again, that one goes collector base emitter from the bottom. Collector base emitter this way. Bazoom, bazoom, and also this one's pretty efficient too. This is a saturated switch, silicon transistor. Okay, that's it, long enough. Jewel Thief as transistor checker for NPN transistors. Thank you for watching.